Over the years, I've played a game called Black Mesa, and I absolutely loved it. And now I'm revisiting it to play it again. I can't get over how the fact how much I loved this game the first time I played it. It was wonderful. It played really well. It looked really awesome, and I was very impressed with overall the experience I had with the game. Black Mesa is a revisited, remastered, redone completely of a game called Half-Life 1. <coughs> or just Half-Life. Black Mesa was a project that was made independently by one, you know, by independent developers. And they did a damn good job, and it took them almost three years or more to do. I'm quite impressed to say that the game looks pretty damn good. The game plays pretty damn good, and it looks really well. I highly recommend it. I still have the free version they offered the first time. I haven't played it in years, and I completely forgot all about it through the videos I've been doing over the years. But this one... I highly recommend you buying it on Steam for 20 bucks. When I get 20 bucks, that's what I'm buying. Um, you can follow me on Dumpsterman LP on Twitter. You can follow me on Facebook, Dumpsterman Let's Play. It's the one with the Nintendo characters on the couch. That's the cover art. And you can subscribe to me on YouTube at Dumpsterman Let's Play. Also, I highly recommend you follow my friend Chris, which is Chris I, like E Y E have autism. No spaces with I have autism. It's just like I, like an eyeball. I highly suggest you check him out. He's pretty awesome. He's been doing some videos on my channel for quite some time. Thank you so much for your time and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care. to wear these ridiculous ties.
hazardous environment suit. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. How is your novel coming? Security. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Ah, Gordon Freeman. should harness the remaining photonic energy. What's up, Doc? Doctor? Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blaze is going on with our... By Becquerel's ghost! You know, radiation's nothing was off. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, seems like. First in better. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from the standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel com- Gordon doesn't need to hear all of this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now.
Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Alright, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
blood for that hazard suit. All the phones are out. I can't reach anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. I... Ah! We can't afford to waste time. You'll need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Yeah, let's go. Upstairs. 
There's got to be somebody there who can fix this. 